Welcome back, and thank you for joining Bite Size DJ as we discuss the use of ableist language in the classroom. CompSci 105, our first big project is coming up, and our professor ended class by discussing the best way to approach it. This is collaborative, but make sure to go to office hours and talk with the TA. We don't want it to be like the blind leading the blind. The teacher ended class, but I couldn't help but feel uncomfortable by his language. That phrase and others like it have become so normalized that people don't even question that some of our most common, ingrained expressions have damaging effects on millions of people. But rather than accepting it or ignoring it, we have to call it out for what it is, ableist language. Ableism is discrimination towards people with disabilities. It shows up everywhere, even in our own classrooms. Some people might say, well, they're just words. It's not that big of a deal, but that's just not true. Words aren't just words. They are powerful. They carry great significance. And they can be used to perpetuate negative and disempowering views of disabled people. Saying things like having a bipolar day or falling onto deaf ears is incredibly harmful and insensitive, isolating those around you in the classroom and everywhere. So instead, let's begin to denormalize, erase, and replace those ableist words and phrases with other ones that are more inclusive and welcoming to those with disabilities. Instead of using behavioral or mental disorders as adjectives like I'm so OCD or he's been really ADHD or they act really bipolar, think about which descriptors you're really reaching toward. Maybe you're just particular. He's been really unfocused or they're erratic and unpredictable. Think uncool instead of lame. Unaware, not dumb or slow, or outrageous and bizarre rather than maniac or psycho. Let's break it down even further. If you Google crazy, the first definition is mentally deranged, especially as manifested in a wild or aggressive way, followed by a secondary definition of extremely enthusiastic. Over the years, the socialized definition of crazy has overtaken the original meaning. This word is tactical avoidance of using overtly ableist language or hate speech towards someone. Using crazy in this context directly relates to your perception of the actions of those with mental illness as bad or ill-fitting in society. Correcting out language means abandoning crazy as a descriptor of mental illness or behavior and committing to its use as a descriptor of emotion and our excitement about things. In other words, say what you mean and mean what you say. If we begin to think more critically about the language we use, we can ensure that the classroom is safe and welcoming for everyone, 